Good afternoon, guys. Semper Pi Gamer here, or whatever time you guys are watching this. And this morning, I actually woke up and I actually <laughs> found some pretty satisfying news. So, one of the best known English actors, Vicky Gervais, he actually was a host at the Golden Globes event. And he basically triggered the whole dinner set over there. So, we're going to react to this together. And I'm going to show you why this man is literally a hero. So, we're going to... We're gonna start up with the video. I know I'm getting hell of bitches and on my phone and on my computer because I don't know. I keep interacting with them on Pornhub. But anyways, that's not that's not what we're here for. We're here for watching the legendary Rick, Ricky Gervais pretty much bashing on Hollywood. So let's go play the video. Hello and welcome to the 77th annual Golden Globe Awards, live from the Beverly Hilton Hotel here in Los Angeles. I'm Ricky Gervais, thank you. You'll be pleased to know this is the last time I'm hosting these awards, so I don't care anymore. Um, I'm joking, I never did. Let's go out with a bang. Let's have a laugh at your expense, shall we? Remember, they're just jokes. We're all gonna die. Yep, that's true. Sometimes, sometimes, let's say Hollywood and people in general just get offended. No matter what side you're on, let's say they easily get offended. And sometimes, sometimes the darkest jokes that we make, we shouldn't, we shouldn't take that stuff seriously sometimes. Sometimes it's just the way to actually cope with it in a way. Or, or just the way to just laugh, get our minds out of this tough world because we all have stresses. So... So not taking a joke seriously is just one less stress that you can have in this world, guys. Please, I'm begging you guys not to, not to get offended easily whenever we make quote-unquote offensive jokes. Anyways, continuing with the video. Hey soon, and there's no sequel. I came here in a limo tonight, and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. So, no. Shush. It's her, it's her daughter I feel sorry for. Okay, that must be the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to her. And her dad was in Wild Hogs. No one cares about movies anymore. No one goes to the cinema. No one really watches network TV. Everyone's watching Netflix. This show should just be me coming out going, well done Netflix, you win everything. Good night. You could binge watch the entire first season of Afterlife instead of watching this show. Spoiler alert, um, season two is on the way. So in the end, he obviously didn't kill himself. Just like Jeffrey Epstein. Man, I love this guy though. <laughs> he makes he makes every media reference that all the Hollywood elitists makes and the most powerful people known in this world. He bat he's he's not leaving anybody under the shadows. He's picking everybody up. Even Epstein got into the middle of this conversation, man. <laughs> man, this guy's a legend, I'll tell you what. And we haven't even scratched the surface. We're not even halfway there through this video we're watching. Shut up! I know he's your friend, but I don't care. It was a big year for paedophile movies. Um, surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland, Two Popes. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. I don't care. I don't care. The Irishman was amazing. Long, but amazing. Um, it wasn't the only epic movie. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, nearly three hours long. Leonardo DiCaprio attended the premiere, and by the end, his date was too old for him. So... <laughs> Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist. So... <laughs> we were going to do an in memoriam this year, but when I saw the list of people that had died, it wasn't diverse enough. It just... no. Yep, so now he's literally bashing people that values that value let's say the quote unquote minorities in Hollywood as you can say man identity politics sometimes when politics into Hollywood it just bothers my mind like I don't care if you're black or white I don't even care as long as you're making a good movie and it's entertaining and it's not politically based I'm gonna love you no matter what as long as you're good at acting. And that's what matters at the end of the day. And this guy's bashing it. 
Man, Hollywood hopefully needs to change their ways. I don't know. I've kind of given up my hope ever since 2016 when they made that good old freaking freaking video of Robert Downey Jr. telling us not to not to vote for an orange. Apple roared into the the TV game with a morning show, a superb drama. Yeah. A superb drama about the importance of dignity and doing the right thing, made by a company that runs sweatshops in China. So, well, you say you're woke, but the companies you work for, I mean, unbelievable. Apple, Amazon, Disney. If ISIS started a streaming service, you'd call your agent. If this guy literally says that these guys that are literally protesting for everything. For example, Nike. Now, Colin Kaepernick, he's protesting about slavery. Injustice and stuff like that, and yet Nike they manufacture sweatshirts. I can't speak today. Shit, they manufacture sweatshirts that literally all in China and stuff like that. And they're literally giving these workers a hard time while they're manufacturing sweatshirts because they just want to blast them out. And the irony that Kaepernick portrays is pretty much exposed through how. Through this speaker tonight. right here. <laughs> Don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and... So... It's already three hours... I'm gonna end the video here. If you guys want to see it, see the whole thing, just look up Rick Jervis. Use his Golden Globes monologue and all this stuff. But yeah, this guy literally said a lot of things. And it's really sad how Hollywood has literally favored one side of politics and pretty much used that as a way to just make money and also, and also push their agenda. And it's really sad because... I feel like Hollywood shouldn't get involved in politics. I feel like it should just be an entertainment platform. Because look, we're already stressed with our daily lives in general. That, and we're already stressed with our local politics and how everything runs. Sometimes we just want to turn on TV and forget how the real world is. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that the real world sucks. I'm just saying that we get so stressed sometimes whenever it comes to the news and politics that sometimes we want to find a way to find a way to relieve and fantasize in a different world, you know what I mean? We don't want to hear politics all again where we don't expect it. Anyways guys, Simplified Gamers, have a good day, and Uva.